What is up, Linux fans? Hey, I hope you're having a great day today. Um, I hope your evening's going well, and you had a good day at work if you went to work, and I hope you had a good day at home if you stayed home. So, that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the video today. Um, I wanted to go over what I have done in my Herb's Luft directory. As you can see, I'm back in Void. Um, I've been back in Void for about, uh, I don't know, a week now or so. Um, I was in Artix for a little bit, just kind of checking it out, checking out Artix and Qtile. Um, no bad things to say about Qtile and Artix at the moment. Um, I have a couple things I didn't really like about it, but I won't say they're bad. Um, so kind of be watching for a video on my long-term review of Artix Linux. But I will say I'm so happy to be back in Void. I love my setup here. I love just the flow of it and void has just been uh head and shoulders above anything else i've used um and that's that's saying a lot coming from a guy who is a very avid believer of distribution doesn't matter i think you could give me a distribution tell me hey live in this and i could probably make it look and function just about like any other distribution out there unless you give me something like hannah montana linux or, or something like that some weird ab abstract obscure you know, unmaintained distribution is going to be a little hard to do that in. But if it's one of the main distributions or a fork or a, you know, um, spin of a main distribution, um, not even necessarily main, but kind of a mainline one, uh, one that's um, actually maintained, then I, I think I could uh, survive in it all, any of it just fine. Um, but that being said, I am thoroughly loving Void. Um, but basically, I wanted to do a little something with my configuration for Herps because, well, Herps is my favorite window manager. Um, it is no, not hard at all to say that now. Um, Herb's Lift is hands down my favorite window manager. It used to be up there with Xmonad or DWM, and I still love those ones as well, you know, and it was kind of fighting for a position there, but now it's head and shoulders above the other ones. I love Herb's Lift, and I, it's, it is by far my favorite window manager. So, side note, just like the Artix video that's coming out, be on the lookout for my top five uh, window managers. Um, that video should be coming out uh, fairly soon as well. But I wanted to show you what I've got going on in my Herb's Lift configuration directory. So if we launch the terminal here, and let's zoom in a little bit, and if I cd into Herb's Lift, and if I do an ls-1, you can see I've got a few things going on here. Basically what I did is I broke my auto start file, which is your main configuration file for Herb's Lift. Excuse me. Oh, I ate dinner not too long ago and it's fighting me a little bit. Um, it's your main configuration file for Herb's Lift is this auto start right here. And basically you put everything in that file, your theme, your key bindings, all that stuff goes in there. Your window rules, everything goes into that one file, which is, is good. I like lack of clutter, I guess. I like to not have clutter. I like to have not a lot of files to dig through in this and that. But I also like to not have to dig through a bunch of stuff in a file. So I've kind of flip-flopped what's going on. Usually you have one file with a bunch of information in it. Now I have multiple files with very specific information in each file. So if we go ahead and open another window here, and let's zoom in again, and I cd into Herb's Luft, and I vim into my auto start, you can see I've got the normal stuff in here for the auto start for the different file or the different programs and stuff I want to start when launching Herps. I've got you know my PyCom, uh, my Power Manager, MPD, my uh, Network Manager applet, my my battery icon and volume icon. All that stuff's normal. But basically, I took almost everything else out of this file. Um, you can see I've still got uh, my little. Um, function here to find the panel, and I have this rule right here that actually, if I do. Um, like mod O and split the screen, it splits it 60-40 instead of 50-50. So that's all that does. Um, but everything else has been separated into its own file. I've got a specific file here that I source for my key bindings. So if we look over here, I've got keys. I've got a specific file right here that I source for my theme, um, which if we look in, it's in the hlwm-themes, which we'll go into in a second. And I've got a different file right here that I source for my window rules, for like um, my floating windows, for window placement, for my scratch pads, for anything that requires a rule for the window that's in its own file right here on win rules. And then I just call those files in my auto start file. So that way, if I need to change a key binding or do something with the key binding, I know I can just go right into this keys file. I can change it and we're good to go. I don't 
don't have to go into the auto start configuration file and scroll through and find the key that I want that way. I can just go straight into the keys file and we're good to go. There's less information to sort through. Um, it's all right there, readily available for me. I know what's in there and I don't have to try and guess like, okay, was this halfway down the file? All the way down the file, at the beginning of the file, it was, you know, it's all just one thing. Same goes for the window rules. Um, so actually, let's go ahead and take a look in one of these. So if I vim into keys, you can see it's just basically I took, I literally copied the information out of my auto start file, pasted it into this file, made it executable, which I don't even know if you have to do that, but I did it anyway, and then call this file from here. So you can see this this whole file is nothing but key bindings. It, it defines my modifier key. Um, it's accessorial to H key, HC key unbind all, which is removes all existing key bindings. And then it does all my, I have my system controls, I have my multimedia keys, I have my programs, I have my run launchers, I have my browsers, I have my scratch pads, uh, client focusing, client moving, splitting frames. All my key bindings are right here. All the different um, type of key bindings are under their own heading, nice and easy to find in its own separate little file. So let's go ahead and quit out of here and let's vim into win rules. Same thing goes here. This is a shorter file, but it's got all my window rules for my menus. So my rule for my launch menu, mod shift D, you can see the rule is I want it to open center. I want it to be a certain size. I want it floating. Um, so that rules right here, VSP two, which is my void source packages installer script and launcher. I have that right here. Same thing. It has its own rules. They're all right here in this, um, rules, win rules file. Um, my scratch pads, um, like my uh, terminal scratch pad there. Mod control F is going to be my file manager scratch pad there. Um, mod Q is going to be cute browser scratch pad, which takes forever to open up, but it's right there. Um, I have mail, I have music, I have my calculator. So those are my different scratch pads. Um, and that's about it. So I've got a couple different uh, windows for like dialog boxes and, or rules for dialog boxes and stuff like that, but that's pretty much it. Um, so I have all those rules set aside in their own file. So when I want to mess with the window rules, I know right where to go. I don't have to sort through all the information in one file again. Um, now, as far as themes go, so let's go ahead and quit out of here and let's CD into HLWM themes. And let's clear the screen, let's do an ls-1. And basically I have in this HLWM themes, which you can see right here, I am sourcing the theme file, which is right here. So if I vim into theme, this is just the theme. It sets my window gaps, my window border, the border colors, um, the floating border widths. So it's just basic um, window manager theme information. It sets my wallpaper right here. I have this function right at the top here that will cycle through and randomly place a wallpaper. So every time I log into Herb's Lift, I get a random wallpaper that is associated with that theme. So I can have multiple wallpapers that are associated with the same theme. It cycles through each one of those. So even if I just reload my configuration file, it will pop a different wallpaper up from the theme. Um, and that's in my um, .config Herb's Lift wallpaper and then the teal theme file or directory so basically that's all that is and um, so that's the theme file right here but if we CD into options oops you can see I can do an LS-1 and I have orange green teal and white and so basically each one of those is a file just like this but it has different colors different um, border sizes, different border colors, different wallpaper. Um, and so whenever I want to change a theme, I can just hit mod control T and I get this menu that pops up and it selects, I can just select which one of these themes I want. It will then copy or move that theme into this theme file right here, overwriting this one. Um, and then my, it reloads the system and my system changes. So, um, no need to show that right now. I have another video on that as well out there. But um, so yeah, that's the themes. Um, this wallpaper.jpg is just the outcome of that function I had for choosing the wallpaper with the themes. Um, so those are the window rules, the theme, and then the keys. So what else do we have here? So if we go back a directory and go back a directory and we do an ls-1, uh, let's clear the screen do an ls-1 again so that took care of the window rules uh, the wallpaper if I CD into wallpaper 
and I do an LS-1. Um, this is where I'm storing my wallpapers for the different themes. You can see I've got teal and orange theme right now. I'm still working on this, but um, I can add as many themes as I want to. And then I just put any wallpapers associated which, with whichever theme they, they go with into there, and then that function will call from that when I load that theme up. Um, and then up UPD icon.sh is just my update icon here in the status bar that shows um, it is green if I have zero updates, it's yellow if I have uh, less than five updates, and it's red if I have more than five updates. Um, if you hover over it, it tells you right there I've got a little pop up window that says 23 updates. If I want to see the updates, obviously I can right click on it. Um, and it gives me a list of all the updates that um, are waiting to take place. And if I left click on it, it will actually launch my terminal and do a system update for me. So that's what the update, or UPD icon.sh. This is the polybar void configuration. This is just my configuration file for my um, polybar setup here. I also have the polybar themes. So if we CD, let's go back, and if I CD into polybar, uh, do do polybar themes. And let's clear the screen and do an ls dash one. You can see I've got options and I've got theme.ini. So if I cd into options and do an ls dash one, you can see I've got green, orange, and teal. I don't have a white theme set up yet because I'm still working on things. But again, that just changes. It'll when I run that uh, script I have um, to launch this and I choose one, it will pull the polybar configuration file here and uh, load it into the correct position. So that's kind of what I did with my, let's go back and go back and uh, clear the screen, do an LS-1. That's kind of what I did with my uh, Herb's Lift setup. Um, just another one of the reasons I love Herb's Lift. Um, I know you can do this with other window managers as well, um, but I just really like the fact that I was able to break this down. And while yes, I have a little more, I guess, clutter here, few more files that I have to go through I don't have as much clutter in one file and I can actually just access the information I know right where to find it um, and when I want to mess around with something I can go just to that strictly to that file and not worry about messing up anything else in my auto start file if I accidentally do something so just kind of a nice uh, nice way to break it up and uh, just kind of make things a little easier to locate. So uh, that being said, I hope you found this interesting and maybe if you want to give it a shot, go ahead and try it out. Um, I'm going to actually update my Git repos here. I got to do a, a lot of Git maintenance because I'm way behind on, on things, but um, I'll push this over there and you can check it out there too. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this and hopefully you have a great rest of your evening and I hope you uh, get some rest this week and um, just stay safe. All right. God bless. Yes.